A busy time of year for beach patrols this week. Boynton Beach Fire Rescue Dive Team was put to the test after it was called to rescue a swimmer in the ocean. CBS 12's Lily Ortiz has more on the training that these men and women endure to keep our waters safe. This is home to Boynton Beach Fire Rescue's dive team near Gateway Boulevard. These are highly trained men and women armed with boats and jet skis to do their job. And in just minutes, they can respond to a water emergency, changing the odds in a life or death situation. If you've gone to the beach lately in Boynton Beach, you've probably seen these men and women. The Boynton Beach Fire Rescue Dive Team spends a lot of time on the water to ensure boaters and swimmers have a safe and enjoyable experience. Getting close to a dive season, swimming season, uh, whenever you're in the water, it, it can change in a second. So we're always training on that tragedy that nobody ever wants to experience. CBS 12 News got a close look at how they practice life-saving scenarios at Harvey Oyer Park Thursday. It's what they often do to stay on top of their game. While we were out, they got an emergency call. Someone in distress on the water. Fortunately, they are okay. Probably one of the largest uh, dive teams in uh, all of South Florida, and we're continuing to grow. Here we're right across from the Boynton Beach Inlet, and uh, there's swift water there, so it's quite dangerous. So dangerous, it happened to one swimmer this week. A close call, all caught on camera. Just on Tuesday, we had a, uh, a, a typical spring breaker, not too familiar with the area, and he found himself in the, uh, the swift water, the Boynton Beach Inlet. A similar rescue happened a few nights ago. This team saved two men after their sailboat overturned. We located them close to about a mile and a half offshore in about 50 feet of water, and they, had, they said they had been drifting uh, a good two or three hours. Thank God they had life jackets on, which is uh, incredibly important on the water. In anticipation of an influx of visitors, they want to warn everyone to swim where lifeguards are posted and know your own limitations. It only takes a couple seconds for a, uh, a tragedy to actually happen. This job is not just for anyone. Members must first complete a number of physical courses and hold several certifications. In Boynton Beach, I'm Lily Ortiz, CBS 12 News.